Antarctica is 90% of the world's ice, 70% of all the world's fresh water. And if we melt it all, we'll be swimming, big time. Well, I saw a film when I was 11 years old about Antarctica, and it fascinated me as a kid that nobody owns Antarctica. It's the only place on Earth that nobody owns, a continent twice the size of Australia. And I was inspired by the stories of the great explorers, found the idea of becoming a polar traveller, seemed to go down quite well with girls at parties when I was young, and we did it. And it was very hard work to walk to both poles, but on those journeys we actually saw 20 years ago the evidence of global warming, climate change. We also saw that very sadly after the hangover of the Cold War that the Soviet Union when it collapsed didn't have the resources to remove quite a lot of its scientific rubbish, oil drums, old machines from Antarctica. We cleared the rubbish from the beach and the penguins came out of the ocean and they hadn't been able to get onto this beach for 47 years. But I looked up on that day and I thought, wow, wouldn't this be great if young people could see this in classrooms live, something connected to the internet and the idea of an education station was born uh, on that day. The eBase is an example, hopefully it's an inspiration, a small building made of recycled materials, made of recyclable materials, powered entirely by renewable energy, connected by a camera to the internet, so young people at school, through their teachers, can see a photograph or an image of Antarctica, and we have fantastic support from the Coca-Cola company who are way beyond green wash with the environment. They know that they need to engage and inspire their employees at looking after our world, thinking about packaging, thinking about water use is a hugely important part of their business survival. Science has now told us that we as the human race are definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, heating up the planet. So people should have a really close look at how they're traveling. How much energy do they really use in their lives? I think well, one of the worst things that can happen to us is that people get a sense that they can't do anything and the worse it gets the more they'll feel that. So my mission until my dying day is to say you can make a difference, you can do something, do it. Mm -hmm.